Hello everyone. Welcome to Coffee with Reema where we discuss and bring inspiring women in front of you who are leading solutions very very relevant to our group. Here I am today in this beautiful office of Olives and Figs. Right next to me are sitting two beautiful ladies, Chenaz and Shweta, who are the, from the team of Olives and Figs and will be talking to more about an issue and an or an agenda which is really important for us Indians, second citizenship. So before talking to you more about it can we just get to know these ladies a little bit more Hey Reema I'm Shanaz I'm citizenship expert at Olives and Figs and I have an experience of 11 years in aviation and I bring to Olives and Figs a really um, customer oriented and client oriented experience where I see what is needed with the client for the client especially and their needs and I make sure that I give them the right advice Hi everyone I am Shweta and i bring to olives and figs immigration services uh, around 15 years of aviation experience uh, while traveling the world i realized the limitations a passport can have i also uh, faced the same thing myself and also met a couple of people who discussed their problems when it comes to visa applications and how their passport was limiting them from seeing the world mm -hmm. so i am here to assist you in addressing your problems and finding solutions in the best way possible Lovely very excited to have these ladies with me today so Olives and Figs is an immigration assistance company they help you get in, get second citizenships in countries of your choice and they have a wide variety of countries that you can work with be it the caribbean or countries in europe and today we are here to get to you get to know more about all of this so let me start with my first question girls who is eligible for second citizenship so anyone who is above the age of 18 mm -hmm. is eligible for a citizenship they have to have a clean record okay. they should not have a major visa rejection and otherwise everything is fine but you can still contact us and we can give you a solution okay to add on to what chena said uh, you uh, also have to make sure that there is no criminal background or you're not wanted on interpol or europol yes. to make sure that you accepted by these uh, countries simply we had a case wherein um, we had a gentleman who had a uk visa rejection mm -hmm. but we managed to get him uh, on board and uh, he's received his approval already so we're just awaiting the passport so when it comes to visa rejections or any minor civil cases mm -hmm. you are free to discuss it with us yes. and you know we can discuss it with the citizenship units yes and we get an answer to you before you sign up absolutely you mentioned countries where which are the countries can we get to uh, there are various countries that offer citizenship by investment but we are mm. we at olives and figs have tried to streamline this study yes. each and every process like which country has what process and we've tried to ease it down for our clients mm. so we uh, take care of countries where the process is easy and hassle free so for second citizenship that is a direct citizenship in 3 to 4 months mm -hmm. you can get of caribbean countries like saint kitts and nevis dominica antigua barbuda mm -hmm. saint lucia grenada mm -hmm. and countries that are not in caribbean like turkey and vanuatu also offers some, similar to this okay. that is in 3 to 4 months you get a citizenship in fact vanuatu is 2 months yes wow. how do i become a second citizenship or second citizen of another country what are the different ways to invest and go there so it's very easy all right so you have to invest either in a real estate or you do a contribution mm -hmm. to the government mm -hmm. so when you do an investment in real estate you get an option to buy a property of your own you can either buy a farm land it can be anything okay. and you can even rent it out you can get returns from it okay. or a very simple process you just give a contribution and you get a citizenship right. in 3 to 4 months 3 to 4 months so you're saying if i apply today by the end of this year i can get a citizenship yes Awesome. So, for me to get a Portuguese passport or any other country passport, how much is the investment needed? Okay, to start with, with Caribbean countries, the investments uh, for real estate they start at two hundred thousand, and the contribution starts at hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, the figures are in US dollars. Yes. Okay. So, if you you can start thinking about investing in other countries and getting the second passport with as low as two hundred thousand. Obviously, the price changes depending on where you want to go to, but there are always solutions. that can be worked out with the team so what are the benefits of getting a second passport mm -hmm. now imagine if you had a passport which you can travel to 150 plus countries mm -hmm. you could just take a flight and travel to these countries yes now with the, now those so so many people actually have kids mm -hmm. they want to do their education in 
Schengen areas and UK and everything. Yeah. So all these countries, you can live there for six months and then you can convert your visa to a student visa. When you have a passport, then you have more flexibility. True. True. Yes, so I think getting the second passport looks like a longer term uh, investment for me because I know you're making an upfront investment but you can use that for your kids education especially we know that a lot of all our Indian kids, Dubai kids go for higher education to other countries and we can also think about going there and travelling when we need to. Depends on which country you choose. Okay. So Caribbean has no requirement for you to uh, visit the Caribbean or live there except okay. for Antigua and Barbuda yes. mm -hmm. and it has a minimum requirement of 5 days in the first 5 years. Oh, that's that's not much. I'll just yeah. go for a holiday. <laughs> yes, Turkey yes. has no requirement at all okay. of visiting or living there. Okay. Uh, Portugal does have a requirement of seven days per year, but okay. again, you can club it together and uh, go for fourteen days in two years. Right. And is it skill-based migration or is it investment? Not at all. It is not a skill-based uh, migration. Yes. Where Skill migration is usually when they check your qualification, the, your education. Mm -hmm. But in this, you just have to do the investment. Okay. They don't check your uh, education qualification. Yes. You can just directly apply for it. Very good. Uh, and can I take my family along? Does my family get passports too? Yes. yes okay. Totally. <laughs> so you can add your family member, you can add your wife, kids, parents, grandparents. Yes. You can even add your spouse, parents, and grandparents. Wow, so you it's not only my your immediate family, you can actually take your extended family, get them a second passport if that is of interest. IWD and everyone listening to this video, I think I just want to reinforce, you can still be in Dubai, COVID is not something which is going to constrain you to travel. You really don't need to travel in most of the cases and the girls are very happy. The team of Olives and Figs will visit you at home for a consultation with them and then you can decide if this is right to you. So we always, you know, we Indians, we have a family house where we yeah. don't want to move away from. Yes. We have our emotional values attached to it and we end up just buying a second home yes. to visit. Mm -hmm. So rather than buying it in the same city or another yeah. city in India, why not just invest in another country yes. and get the benefits. So your citizenship just comes complimentary with your property. Absolutely, you're almost booking a holiday for yourself every year through this, so that's great. How do we book an appointment with your team? You can always go on uh, olivesandfigs.com At the mm -hmm. end of the video, we will be sharing our uh, WhatsApp numbers, our calling numbers, our email addresses. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can reach us on Instagram. So we will be uh, sharing with you all the details at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. Feel free to WhatsApp us, call us anytime. We can yes. book an appointment for you. You can yes. come, come for a cup of coffee. Yes. And we will see what we can do for you. Very good. And I'm very thankful to, to this team because they've said that the consultations will always be free for you. Uh, I think it's worth coming here, having a chat with them, just get a good coffee and then, then see if it's the right option for you or not. So thank you very much to both of you, Shweta and Shainaz today. Thank you so much for your time. I think for me, it's a great takeaway that if you have ever considered getting a second passport, I guess COVID has taught us that, you know, travel can be restricted due to our own passport. So it's, it's a nice time to just have an initial conversation, explore whether this is the right option for you and then decide whether you want to take it forward as a family or not. Thank you very much for your time, everyone, and see you soon.